Hello uh, my, to uh, social media and I want to thank my subscribers. Uh, this is an update on the uh, finished project which is the uh, engine box, uh, the doghouse, the engine cover for a 3.7 Mercruiser stern drive. I'm calling this a finished project. Uh, I hope to find all the video segments on different hard drives and storage devices and put them together for a proper uh, part two. Unfortunately, I can't find them all and my software is not working the way I want it to because I want to edit out stuff. I want to be focused on one project because I shot video and on everything I was working on simultaneously. But anyway, this is a finished project using uh, Kusa board Blue Water 26 and I'm real happy how it turned out it's very light and I'm going to discuss the features of the box but use in the audience that need an engine cover put one together quick and dirty with plywood and two by fours uh, get through the summer season and build one of these uh, only when you have enough time because it t takes a lot of time to do the cabinet work and fiberglass and gel coat and get the cushions made and all that but uh, I'm going to give you a basic uh, features of the box is it has cup holders, it has a place to put your suntan lotion and uh, scuba divers uh, sea drops and it's hinged so you can get to the engine quick plus we have a light in the center and I had to cut out a piece for where the uh, deck plate on the sole plate there's an access cover that hits this but uh, you see how I built the box and then I made the cut and uh, you could probably make the cut and then build the box but I thought it was better to build it in one piece and then cut it uh, to give this this feature here now notice the overlap on the corner the uh, this actually extends beyond the top because that allows you enough room so that if there's any drips it doesn't drip right onto the starter it's a little bit further back and uh, another feature of these handles which if I could make these out of starboard I do that instead of teak but this is how it came on the boat uh, my 1989 success 200 Beretta success 200 uh, that I've took out the sole plate and the stringers and replaced with Divinacel back in 1997. But uh, I'm going to go around the box after I open it and I'm going to give you the basic dimensions here uh, which from top to bottom here we're looking at about 21 inches on the side and the length all together is 32 inches and notice the hundred the uh, beveled corner which when I did this I did this with four 22 and a half degree cuts using a standard uh, hand skill saw and gives you a nice rounded corner which is a nicer effect than a square corner I think plus it gives me some additional rigidity and when you open the box which it's bolted down in the boat of course it's bolted here on either side with these little clips but with it open you got good access to the stern drive and uh, inside the box uh, we have some rigidity here uh, you see in the corner I used a couple of pieces of Divinacel in the corner I'm going to use this ruler as a pointer I hope in the corner here I can't see the monitor in the Sun I hope I'm focused on it but I put uh, Kusa board in the corner or, or not Kusa board Divinacel in the corners to give it extra rigidity and I'm having some problems with delamination where the gel coats pulling away from the Kusa board where I made the cut so I'm going to try to use some two-part epoxy and you see how I had to drill holes for the cushion so when somebody sits down hard on the cushion the air can come out rather quickly and here's my uh, my cup holders and here's the light 
and uh, then the hinges. Now you could uh, use detachable hinges like this or other kind of hinges but I like these because then I can take this top piece off and set it aside when I'm working and that gives me good access to the stern drive and getting back to the dimensions across and I hope I have this on camera pretty well uh, okay dimension across from side to side is, is 32 inches so we got 32 inches across which I have a 3.7 Mercruiser stern drive. I don't know if this would work with a 4.3 liter or a V8, but you need the side to side measurement is your most critical measurement because you want the box wide enough to cover the opening, but you don't want it too wide because then you get into the area of your seats. That's why this measurement is important. And then the overall measurement, like I said, is another 32 inches so it's 32 across and 32 long and it's 21 inches high and this top piece is attached with screws and the rest of it is all put together and glassed and uh, if you want to make sure you do this right uh, template it out in cardboard or cheap plywood first and use screws so you can undo anything you've done and you see how the cushion was fabricated by uh, local uh, upholstery and I used uh, for the upholstery work I didn't use any wood I used uh, half inch expanded PVC so I'm calling this a finished project except to go back and try to fix those delaminations with uh, fix the delaminations using uh, two-part epoxy or I'll end up having to grind off the gel coat and do it again and re-glass it, re-glass it and re-gel coat it for the delaminations. But I'm happy how it turned out because it's very light compared to plywood and Blue Water 26 Kusa board will not uh, deteriorate over time and you can always re-glass it, redo it if you need to and you see on the sides here I even used some uh, Divinacel to reinforce the corners here and that's Divinacel there in the corners and for sound deadening I may add more de Divinacel or I may use something called Hush Cloth because right now I have no sound proof or sound deadening in there and uh, so here's a basic engine cover for probably any stern drive you could make it like this if you wanted to uh, but I like the feature of having the, the handles on there because those act as supports because you can put seats on either side of this box and then put the seats up for sunbathing on top of the engine cover but I needed this cover this strong and durable because when I have scuba gear on and I jump on this cover I don't want it to collapse under my weight and I'm 240 pounds plus scuba gear so you need to be able to support at least 300 pounds uh, plus the force of uh, you know trying to get in and out of the boat fast if you need to but uh, Anyway, thank you for your interest in my project, and please share, like, and subscribe. And thank you for my subscribers, and please post a comment if you have any questions. Uh, but don't ask me what the cost of the project is. Like any project, uh, it's expensive and time-consuming. And once you start, you really need to be careful what projects you select and make sure it's something that you can finish and make sure it's something that when it's finished you'll be happy with because trying to recover your time and your money is uh, is uh, probably not uh, a doable thing however doing a project like this you'll acquire skills that maybe you can hire somebody else will hire you to do it for them with a profit because uh, these are very 
Once these uh, come on a boat, they're nice. The new ones are all fiberglass. They're all done differently now. They don't, you know, this is really for older boats that used plywood covers, marine grade plywood or the new boats, they're all one piece. Uh, I guess they're vacuum bagged, which is another way to do this. You could do this with vacuum, but you'd probably have to do it in clay or something or some kind of mold and, you know, and so you, you could do it that way. Uh, the Kusa board, one sheet of Kusa board cost me $300 locally here in South Florida. Uh, the support boxes for either side is going to probably take another sheet of Kusa board, plus other improvements I want to do to the boat. Uh, that I'm trying, my objective is get all the wood out of the boat. I don't want any wood in my 1989 Beretta Success 200. And uh, so I hope this video satisfies uh, the need to say how did it come out. It came out great. I'm real happy with it. You don't have to do this in Kusa board. You could use uh, uh, the Venicel or some other fiber fiberglassable foam core. I think there's something called Nidacore that I have no experience with or Nidacore. There's a lot of products out there. I'm not, I don't know all of them. But uh, Divinacel was uh, suggested to me by the manager at Contender Boat back in 1997, Homestead, Contender Florida. Boat. And he loves, loved Divinacel at the time. There may be other products available now that's better than Divinacel, but I really like Divinacel. It holds up well and doesn't deteriorate over time. So thanks uh, for your interest.